Welcome to the Mobilent channel. In this video, we will be looking at the four spoke patterns that are actually available for us to use. First, let's talk about the radio pattern. The radio pattern can be seen on lightweight road bike front wheels. Due to the short spoke length, it has less air resistance and is lighter. It is mainly used in electric bikes, bicycles, with a size of 14 to 16 inches or large hub motors. It is used for its design, lightweight purposes, and when there is no space to cross. Secondly, the one cross pattern. It refers to the pattern where the spokes on one side cross once, as shown in the picture. It is often used in lightweight XC mountain bike front wheels and road bikes. It is the most commonly used pattern in electric bikes that use hub motors. Thirdly, the two cross pattern. It is used on lightweight XC mountain bike rear or front wheels and on road bikes. Although it is not commonly used, the air resistance increases as the spoke length increases. It is mainly used in road bikes, and the left side is usually to cross, while the right side uses three cross due to pedaling power. It can also be used in electric bikes. Lastly, let's talk about the three cross pattern. It is the strongest and most durable spoke pattern. The spoke nipple does not loosen easily due to driving vibration. It is not commonly used in hub motors because it is difficult to bend spokes unless the wheel is very large. It is used in everyday bicycles, as well as high output electric bikes that use a central drive motor. The disadvantage is that the wheel becomes heavier and there is more air resistance at high speeds because the spokes are longer. It is particularly outstanding in mountain bikes such as gravity, and it is strong against side impact and has good elasticity providing the best riding comfort. It also has excellent responsiveness and performance for both braking and acceleration. We will explain the only difference between electric bikes, bikes, and bike wheel spoke patterns that use hub motors. When the bike wheel spokes cross, the last spoke that meets does not simply pass by, but needs to be overlapped and connected to make a sturdy wheel. However, electric bike spokes are very thick, so they just pass by without overlapping. This is the only difference between electric bike and regular bike wheel spoke building. Did you find the video helpful? Your subscription, likes, and comments are greatly appreciated and will help us in making more videos. Thank you for watching. This was Dr. Road from Mobilent.